Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way through the Volcano Manor. But first, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen. And I only did a couple of things. First things first, I went ahead and I put on the Beast Repellent Torch. This is going to be handy a little later into the episode, along with some fireproof dried liver. Alrighty, now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to come over here to Dialos and we're going to go chat with him. And we have a lot to do, so we're going to be keeping a steady pace today. Ah, it's you, is it? I'm terribly sorry, but would you mind giving me some time to myself? I haven't achieved anything at all thus far. Even though I've dirtied my hands time and time again, I'm still yet to achieve anything. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house. What an easy mark I must have been. How did it take me so long to realize, honestly? There's just no end to my foolishness, is there? I suppose not, Dialos. We're gonna come over here to the first door on the left. Or second door, I'm sorry. We're gonna roll into this wall. Take out that snail boy. Got a couple snails over here as well. Pick up a budding horn. Gonna have some snails that fall down. Couple behind us. We're gonna keep making our way through here. Pick ourselves up a Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 21. Roll into this wall. Get ourselves the Depraved Perfumer Carmen. Just going to backtrack here a little bit. Like I said, we're going to be keeping a steady pace today because there is a lot to this dungeon. Over here we have a Bloodhound Knight gonna drink a flask and then we're going to do our best to kill this guy Ooh, that was close get the bloodhound claws and then a fireproof dried liver come over here light this grace and then I'm going to rest at it, just for a second here. By the way, that Bloodhound Claw is a pretty cool fist weapon if anybody wants to try it out. I'm going to activate this summoning pool. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to kill this Serpent Man. We're going to hop down on this roof. Run straight across. Kill this serpent man right here. Be careful of the guys throw in poison pots. I'm gonna run and jump over to this roof. Kill that guy. Then we're gonna fall off right here. Kill this guy too. Kill that guy. Grab a golden rune five. And then hop up on here. Maybe. Take that guy out. And then immediately behind you is a serpent man. So be careful. Grab a golden rune nine. Nine. 
We want to take all these guys out first. That way we're not trying to fight an Iron Virgin with a bunch of guys throwing poison pots at us. Grab that Silver Scarab. I like to make sure that I jump down and I'm on this side of him. That way he'll roll into the houses and not down below because it's a hot mess if he rolls down below. All right, we're going to take on this Iron Virgin. Let her do her thing right there. Things can be so annoying sometimes. Just try to keep your distance. There we go. Kill this guy real quick and then we're gonna turn around just wanted to take that guy out real fast we're gonna come up this roof hop onto this one hop onto this one and then grab a smithing stone six I like to kill this guy so this dog gets drawn out and then while I'm grabbing the item over here I can Sneak up on that dog and take these two dogs out. And then we are back where we started. Where we initially killed that first serpent man. We want to run across these rooftops again. We're going to run. We're going to jump. And then down below, just over here, this chimney is. We're going to fall down. We're gonna grab ourselves a smithing stone five. We're gonna come through this gate, take out that guy, and then we wanna crouch, take out this omen killer real fast. For me, he always drops this great omen killer, Cleaver. I don't know if that's guaranteed, but I'm pretty sure it is a guaranteed drop. We're going to come through this doorway. Grab ourselves the Erd Tree Seal. That's a really good faith seal for anybody that has a faith build. Grab this Golden Ruin. And then right here. Almost missed the doorway there. Okay, so right here, we're going to have to run and jump. You want to wait until the very last second and then jump. So wait to the very last second to jump and you'll make it just on those stairs. It's a little tricky, but we get a stone sword key for that. We're going to jump across. We have a new variant of the pot guys. They're gonna explode. When they're yellow on top, that means that they're gonna explode. Be very careful. Does hurt, obviously. And we're going to take the back side of these tombstones here. Get a jumping R2. And then right here, we're going to get a really cool shield. This is the smoldering shield. I'm going to run and jump across. Get ourselves some smithing stone six. And then come up to the top here. 
run and jump. Come over here. Be careful, we're going to have some enemies as soon as we jump across here. They're not tough, but they can sneak up on you. Then there's one across the way. And then jump across, and we are back where we started. So now we can come up here. Veer off to the left. Go through this gate. And then we're going to use our stone sword key that we just got. Let this guy summon in. And then we're going to have another iron virgin. I recommend taking this thing out. It's going to be annoying if you don't. It's going to be chasing you at the same time as trying to dodge it and it, it just it becomes a mess so just go ahead and do yourself a favor and take her out oh my goodness stay away from me I don't know why I just healed there there was no reason for me to heal and I did it anyways be careful of their grabs, be careful of the pots that they throw. Then we can come over here and get ourselves the Crimson Amber Medallion Plus One. So if you're struggling with some health, put that on, it'll give you a good boost to your health. I'm going to come over here. We have another Serpent Man. Sweet, we got the Serpent Man's shield. I'm going to grab that Smithing Stone 4 over here. And then we're going to climb this ladder. Right up here. We're going to come just between these peaks. And we're going to fall off. Be really careful. Don't fall to your death. Very easy to do that if you're not paying attention. Take this guy out. And now we have another great omen killer cleaver. So if you want to dual wield those, you can. Right here you get the albanuric staff and the mask. Just gonna climb this ladder. Come to the top here. Grab a golden ruin 10. Be very careful. I like to jump right there. I was being a little clumsy and I just ran off. But make sure you jump. That way you don't fall to your death. careful of those guys they will drop down not really that big of a threat but they can surprise you I'm gonna open up these doors this is where that serpent man was standing earlier kill that old guy grab some beast blood and then just run straight through here Be careful of these weird, creepy head dudes that look like they're from Bloodborne. They can grab you and like chomp on your face. It's not really that fun of a time. Grab ourselves a Golden Rune 9. You want to kill this guy before he screams or else he's going to get the attention of everybody in here. Is 
Take out this serpent man. Come over here for some explosive great bolts. And then we're going to come through this doorway. We're going to open up these double doors. That way we can run through them really fast without having to worry about fighting the enemies again. Because just over here through this doorway, we're going to have a summoning pool to activate. And then right behind that, we're going to have a grace. And I'm going to sit at this grace because we're going to be fighting a magma worm here soon. And it's just good to have all your flasks and stuff ready. So we're going to hop down right here. Jump over these slugs. Jump over here. And then just around this corner, we're going to get some more fireproof dried liver. Be careful, there's a guy right here. And then you want to take this at a sprint. There's a guy up top that's going to be throwing fire pots at you, so be careful. Come up here, got another serpent man. This one's got a whip. Tried to dodge that, but it didn't work out. So we want to jump to this roof, and then this roof here. And then right down there is the guy that was throwing fire pots at us. We're going to kill him real fast. Grab ourselves a somber smithing stone six. And then jump back down here. We're going to come back up to the top where we just killed that serpent man. Hop back on the roof. Come down over here. Hop on the roof to the left. Hop on the roof to the right. And then over here to this roof. Kill another guy that was throwing fire pots at us. Grab ourselves a smithing stone six. And then some magma slugs. That just annihilated my health there. Grab that golden rune nine. Jump across. And then right here, we have an elevator, which we don't even have to ride it down. We can just hop down. Don't know why we have an elevator there. I guess to get back up, but I don't know. I don't find it useful. We're going to put our shield on, summon in our spirit summon, heal ourselves, and then put our seal back on. And here is our magma worm. Be really careful. This one is kind of tough because there's just lava everywhere. That's why I went ahead and I put on the fireproof dried liver. Let him do his thing. And then we're going to try to rot him. It's not really working out. I am playing like doo doo today. Everybody's got their good and bad days, I suppose. I am not trying to go in that lava. It is very deceiving when he spews out his lava and then you're in the lava. Because the regular log lava doesn't hurt that bad. But his lava... Whew. Fine, we'll pull out our bow. We'll do this the cheesy way. There we go. Spirit summon took care of him. 
Now we're going to roll our way over to the item across here. Or if you have a dagger, you can use that to get over here. Like we did in the video prior. We're going to come over here to this elevator. We're going to ride it up and then we're going to ride another elevator up. We're almost to our second boss in this area. We're actually not going to kill the main boss of the Volcano Manor. And the reason why is because we haven't done all the assassination side missions for the Volcano Manor. And if we kill the main boss, it breaks that quest line. So all we're doing is we're going to be running all the way to the boss chamber and then just lighten the grace and uh, activating the summoning pool. Pick yourself up a somber smithing stone five. And then up here, we're going to have like a fire mage dude or a black fire mage, whatever they're called. Black Flame Monk. That's what they are. Right there is going to be a boss, but first we want to come over here. We want to use this lever. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go rest at the grace, get our FP, our flasks, all of that stuff back. So right here, this is where we started. We're just going to run up this way and then straight into the boss room. Go ahead and drink our flask. And then as soon as the boss comes out, we'll summon in our mimic. Should have waited to get behind that pillar before drinking a flask. Back up. Oh, good God. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I hate that attack. It is the worst. So we get the Godskin Stitcher and the Noble Presence. Let's go ahead and light this grace. And then we're going to come up here, grab this item that I can't pronounce, sorry, bad with names, and then we're going to fast travel over here to the Volcano Manor. Let's go ahead and come over here and talk to Raya. It's you. Forgive me. 
My mind never ceases to churn of late. Hmm, well, I know I can trust you. I saw something slithering in the pitch black of night. It entered the room next to this one and never came out. If I'm not mistaken, it took the form of a serpent, just like me. Does the volcano manor hide some secret that Lady Tanith has kept from me? I realize that I shouldn't impose, but if you discover anything, would you please share? Really? Oh, so there was a secret after all. Oh my. Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. Was I not born by the grace of a king? Hmm. What is this? I remember this sense distinctly. Hmm. Funny, isn't it? I am certain of it. I was born inside this. It's a part of my birth, mother. You have my gratitude. Thanks to you, I am no longer afraid. I want to know how I was born and met Lady Tanith. One day, I hope to call her mother once again. This time from the bottom of my heart, Now we're going to go talk to Lady Tanith, and then we'll rest at the Grace and get a little bit more dialogue from Lady Tanith. If you follow this, it cannot... She said that... to you. I should have known something was wrong. The signs were clear enough. Well, Zarias has placed her trust in you. All the more reason I must tell you that some things are better left unknown. Besides, no one should be blamed for their heritage. Think about it. We are resisting the ways of the Erd Tree itself. What matters one's lineage in such a crisis? Let's rest at the Grace. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> no, I haven't seen Zarias anywhere, and she has no scouting duties now. Has she gone off in search of answers? Why won't she just listen? May I ask your aid? Not as the manor's proprietress, but as Zarias's mother. If she discovers the answer to her question, and it causes distress, have her drink this potion, to purge that which would cause her pain. Yes, I know. My wish is a grave disrespect to her. No different than the Erd Tree's imposition. But I've no choice. It must be done. Let's go ahead and fast travel back to the temple of Igle. Igle? I don't know. Whatever that word is. We're going to take this elevator up. And we're not going to be giving that potion to Zarias. We're going to veer off to the right. And I'll explain why here in just a moment. But we're going to follow this around come over this little bridge and then off to the left grab ourselves a golden rune nine and then veer off to the left don't run straight off there i've done it multiple times and then right over here we can hop off activate a summoning pool and then if we come right down here, we can get ourselves a Golden Rune 12. If we can get back up, that is. 
careful of the slugs or the magma slugs. Right here, we got a few to kill. Fall off right here. Hop up. And we're going to have another Iron Virgin to kill. We're going to want to kill it because it's just going to get in the way. If not, normally I do not even kill these things. I just run by them because they're just such a pain in the ass. Exactly. Swings it back and forth. And then again. I'm gonna do this again. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we can jump through this window and then just to the left, we wanna inch our way off and then turn around and inch our way off again. And then right over here we can run, jump and kill that enemy there. It's one of those creepy bloodborne creatures. Careful for him. We're gonna open up this door or cell, get the missionary's cookbook six. Run straight over here. Grab ourselves some drawstring fire grease and then climb this ladder. And we have come full circle. Kill that guy and then I'm gonna backtrack for just a moment here if we hop off this ledge we can go ahead and get ourselves the crimson tear scarab essentially does the same thing as the other scarabs that you put on your head except it will give you more HP back when you use a crimson flask but you also take more damage so I don't find that one as useful as the other ones because you're just going to have to heal more anyways. Sure, you get more HP back, but you're going to lose probably the same amount as you just got back, if not more. So we're going to hop back through this window here. Come over this way. Then we want to go up these stairs. to one of these guys and then we're going to activate this elevator but before we do i want to let everybody know we're going to be hopping through a doorway this elevator is a shortcut but we want to go through the doorway because that's going to let us come underneath here grab ourselves a stone sword key hop through the window veer off to the right Kill ourselves a silver scarab. And then over here, we have a couple of serpent men. We want to get their attention and bring them over here, or else we're going to have to be fighting both of them at the same time. And that may not be ideal for everybody. Come on, bud. Now let's get our beast repellent torch out. We're just gonna hold it 
there are a ton of basilisks over here. I wouldn't even try to run by them. They just, they are a complete nuisance. We just want to grab this, the somber smithing stone six and then turn around and run. That makes that encounter so much easier. I promise you it makes it so much easier. Here's Raya. Let's go ahead and talk to her. Oh, it's you. I'm afraid there is something I must tell you. I was an unwanted child, born not of grace, but of a hideous ritual, something that can never be accepted, not by men, nor serpents. Even Lady Tanith shouldn't accept me. I know that you have done so much for me, but I wish to ask one last kindness. Kill me, please. I thought that I feared nothing, but this, free me from this accursed frame. We are not going to give her the tonic because unfortunately we cannot get a better ending for her by giving her the tonic. So we're going to kill her and we're going to get... <gasps> My champion, mother. We're going to get a talisman for that. That talisman makes everything harder. So you'll take more damage and you'll deal less damage to enemies. So if you want an even harder mode for Elden Ring, there's your hard mode. Okay, these guys right here, when you kill them, they're going to spew out poison. So as soon as you kill them, roll away. Come down here, get ourselves the commoner's headband. And then what we want to do is summon in our mimic, drink a flask, drink another flask, and then come over here and kill this serpent with the magma whip. Fuse out magma everywhere. Come through these double doors. And then kill these guys. Again, when you kill them, back away. Oops. I didn't realize there was a guy right there. Right here, we can pick up the Man Serpent Ashes. Can get that guy's staff, by the way. So if you want to farm this guy, you can. Want to come out here? Over here is a portal we're going to be taking in just a bit. But first, we need to come back over here and do a couple of things. Let's get rid of our spirit summon. We don't need them anymore. Go ahead and activate this imp statue. And then be very careful when running over here. You can run straight off to your death. What we want to do is we want to come over to this side. Want to inch off. Fall down right here. Run down this way. And then we have another serpent man with a whip. Oops. Take that guy out. Come 
come over here. Grab the dagger talisman. And then if we fall down right here, take a guy out right there that's being sneaky. Grab ourselves a rune arc that we don't need. Or maybe you guys need it. Who knows? Gonna fall off right here. And then fall off right here. And then where this chain is, we're gonna roll off. And we have a bunch of these guys right here. What I like to do is get them to come over here, do their grab move, and then take them all out at the same time. Those guys aren't really important at the moment. There is another one of these guys. Take him out. Grab yourself the seed bed curse. That is actually very important. Make sure you get that. That is gonna be for a side quest. And then we have an iron virgin right here. We're not going to fight it. We're just gonna run over here, grab the item, and then run away. Just grab the item, run back through these doors, and continue on. Like I said, if I, if I don't have to fight them, I'm not going to. Take that guy out, and this guy. Not really necessary, but. Get the Ash of War Royal Knight's Resolve. Pretty good. When you use that, your next attack is going to do, I believe, double or triple damage. And then we're back in the Volcano Manor. And Patches is right here, so let's go ahead and talk to Patches. Well, you joined the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. And here I thought Raya was barking up the wrong tree. All good, though. We're on the same side now. We'll do good work together. Oh, and of course, we can do business, if you like. Patches Emporium at the Volcano Manor. Especially for you. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? I always hated the gibberish about Lost Grace and the laughable Two Fingers. I thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. I guess her master must really be something, because she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. Cheers for that. We're going to go talk to Tanith. Let her know that Zariah is dead. If you follow this, it cannot... Really. She is dead, then. My gratitude for your forthrightness. If you would... Allow me some time alone. All right. So what we want to do is we want to fast travel back to the temple of Igale. We're going to come over here. We're going to go through this doorway right here. And this is where we sent the elevator earlier. That's why I said it is a shortcut. It's actually a pretty big shortcut. There's a doorway that we hopped through earlier. If you want, you can send it back down just in case you die in this section. But what I would do is just sprint my way through here. Don't stop. Then come over here to the portal, jump in it really fast. And then we're over by the boss room. But like I said earlier, we're not going to go in there. We're going to wait until we get the rest of the Volcano Manor quest lines done. And then we'll come back and fight the boss over here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go back to the round table hold and we'll end the video. I'll see everybody over there.
Alrighty, everyone. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be, and you're part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.